One of the biggest challenges is, is, is when you work on a big franchise is, is innovation. And one of the reasons why I was so excited about working on Metal Gear is because the Metal Gear Solid franchise, I think almost more so than any other franchise, uh, takes a lot of risks with each sequel. Uh, they, they use different time periods and they have you know, introduced new mechanics. And uh, you know, while they have a lot of returning characters, uh, you always feel like it's gonna be really fresh and they take risks. And I really have always appreciated that about that series. And, uh, and that's really hard to do. And I think that one of the reasons why they're able to do that is because Hideo has so much clout and ability, he has, the, he has a vision, but also the ability to make, and the capacity to make these really hard decisions. I think uh, on, on, with large franchises though, that's a huge challenge when you have literally hundreds of millions, sometimes a billion dollars on the line. And, uh, and yeah, what really, really needs to happen is I think that the creative leadership has to have almost like a punk rock uh, philosophy and, and, uh, and edict internally that uh, they're not gonna settle for what's already been done. And that's really hard and you have to find uh, I think a le leadership within a huge company to be able to believe in that and, and support that kind of thinking. Uh, one of the things that I, I remember always, I was always falling back on was I was just really, in a sense, uh, just inspired by what I saw when I, when I saw Bioshock Infinite for the first time. I said, this is the exact kind of sequel that needs to happen. I think most, most companies would say, you, you have, if you're gonna make a sequel, it has to be about Rapture and, little, and Big Daddies and Little Sisters and all these mainstay parts, the essential core elements of this IP. And Ken Levine and the team threw it all out the window. And uh, I think that's really risky and really inspiring.